everyone and welcome back to my second channel so for today's video i'm going to be talking about things that i wish i had known before going to university and just some tips that i have for anyone going to university by the time this video goes up it'll be end of july so school season is right around the corner and if you are going into university then enrollment has probably already happened or it's happening right now specifically if you go to queens by the time this video goes up enrollment will have already happened so i mean it's that time of the year school is is coming up so if any of you guys are wanting some tips and especially if it's like your first year hopefully this video will be really helpful first up is textbooks now textbooks are a big thing not only you know in weight but also money they are very expensive and one of the things that i wish i had known is like never buy your textbooks unless your professor specifically say to buy them so they will give you usually your syllabus and what textbook you need before you go to class um but wait wait until you go to class and hear from the prof because i had multiple profs say you need this textbook but it's optional or we're actually not going to use it that much so it's more just for supplementary learning you don't really need it so you can save a lot of money now if you're someone who's like me and you prefer everything online online textbooks are so much cheaper than your paper textbooks so if you prefer reading via pdf or something like that you can buy your textbooks for usually like a third of the price online so definitely check that out and if you do prefer um books you can also check out if your school has any used book services um we had like a used bookstore and our campus bookstore actually has used books as well and if you go to queens this is all more queens specific i mean it is general for any university but the things i'm saying are obviously more queen specific since i go to queens so if you are at the campus bookstore you can also purchase used books so that also saves you money now the next section is regarding tutoring so first year university i actually did have a tutor and my tutoring services were offered through the indigenous program at queens but not not everyone obviously has access to that um my tutor was for accounting now if you know accounting and finance are not necessarily my strong suit my strong suit is more marketing calculus um like sustainability that type of stuff accounting almost failed and i would have failed if it wasn't for having a tutor now unfortunately tutors are usually very very expensive and not easily accessible tutoring sessions are just it can be so expensive right because it is that one-on-one -on -one learning that is so amazing and does help students excel but you know that comes with the price which is why i would recommend a much more convenient and accessible and affordable option being wisent so wisent has over 65,000 tutors spanning over 300 plus different subjects that includes for example accounting or if you're starting a small business there's shopify tutors there are so many different tutors history english math whatever you need and there are different levels so if you are in high school university like college adult they have those categories so you can pick a tutor that is specific to your learning level and what you're looking for based on your curriculum and stuff like that you have to do is pick the subject that you're interested in for example you could do math and then it'll recommend tutors and you can pick a tutor they'll give like little um disclaimers about themselves and you can read through their reviews and everything pick a tutor message with them to make sure it's the right fit and then you can schedule a tutoring session and you only have to pay after and you only have to pay for the time that you need it so i actually had an hour tutoring session with an amazing tutor through wisent and i searched up um, photoshop for my subject category and i messaged a few people found the best fit for me and i had my session actually yesterday and it was really really amazing i loved it it was so neat because it was like having someone right there walking me through it all and if you're someone like me who really needs that like kind of hands-on learning like you need someone guiding you every step of the way before you can like get into it yourself 
then it, I mean like it was perfect for me like this tutor was amazing so in Photoshop I learned how to do masking and creating patterns for my clothing line which I mean that was so cool I'll include some clips but I was like absolutely shocked and she she could tell like I was so excited on the call because you could just like change the whole color of the bikini anyways I w it was so cool so I mean if you are looking for some one on tutoring that is affordable accessible convenient and I mean it was fun like I had so much fun learning especially in that format then definitely check out Wizent and if you click on the link in the description box, you can get $25 off your first tutoring session. So be sure to check it out. I think it's really amazing for anyone going into university. Hopefully you guys check it out. I think it's a really great resource for anyone, really just anyone, high school, university, whichever. So be sure to check it out. And thank you, Wisent, for sponsoring today's video. So next up, I made a little list of some things that um, I wish I had known or things that you might need for your dorm and stuff. So my must-haves in my dorm were a fan. It is going to be so hot in there. You, you will need a fan. So be sure to get one of those. Mine was always running, even in the winter because they cranked the heat there. Um, you'll want a mini fridge maybe. My dorm didn't come with a mini fridge, so I did have to buy one. And something that I wish I had known was the meal plans specifically at Queens did not have many vegan vegetarian options at the time I was only vegetarian I did try to go vegan for a couple weeks but I had to give up because the meal plans were that bad it was so gross I remember one time they served me a plate with mushrooms and tomatoes and balsamic vinegar just just that and the chef just like was like here you go and I, and I was like, you you know, you know that is not a proper meal. B mushrooms and tomatoes and balsamic vinegar, where is the food? Where is the food? So I wish I had known that the meal plans wouldn't be very like inclusive and catered to all like dietary sections. Um, so yeah, I, I did spend a lot of money at the grocery store and using my mini fridge because I mean, I obviously wanted to buy food that I would actually eat. So definitely get a mini fridge or just make sure that the meal plans are suitable for you. Okay, and so in terms of other things, I did have a shower caddy, shower shoes. Um, I had communal washrooms. I would also recommend VI Poo, which is like a little spray that you spritz in the toilet before you go to the washroom. And I mean, I loved it, especially having communal washrooms. I It just made me feel more secure. I mean, I know that everyone goes to the washroom, but I liked having it so that at least it smelled a little bit better in there. So I would recommend that. Um, definitely get shower shoes, definitely get a shower caddy, all of that stuff that can like drain out water too. Like make sure your shower caddy has holes in it. Shower shoes too. You can get shower shoes with holes in them too. I think off of just like Amazon or something, but I just had flip flops. What else? Oh, now um, my dorm didn't have Wi-Fi. I had to buy my own Wi-Fi router. So check into that, see if your dorm um, or your school does have Wi-Fi in the dorms because I didn't need my own Wi-Fi router. And also um, I needed my own printer. Sometimes assignments they would want physical copies of or if you're someone who likes to print out your notes or things like that, obviously a printer is necessary and printing at the library can just be like a pain in the butt. You also have to pay for it. So it's kind of nice having one in your dorm. But what I would do is I had a single dorm. If you have a shared dorm, like if you have a roommate or maybe a couple roommates, talk about getting a group printer because I don't think necessarily everyone needs a printer. Like honestly, sometimes my printer wouldn't work and then I would use my friends and we would like share ink because I had also ink for my printer. So I would, you know, take over a cartridge. So it was just like, we were mostly using one printer anyways and just like paying for the ink. Um, so I would definitely look into that, like ask your roommates if they do want a printer to just like go in on one together so you don't have three printers because it's also not necessary and you'll save money that way anyways. And the odds of you needing to print something at the exact same time that that person does, slim to none, right? Now, if you are like me and you are a chronic overpacker, this is for you. Only pack the clothes you're gonna wear. 
definitely pack those pieces that are going to make you feel like yourself, feel comfortable. I mean, you're in a new place, meeting new people. You want to feel like yourself. I overpacked way so much. There were so many clothes there that I never wore and packing everything to come home was just a pain in the butt. So definitely only bring the clothes that you know you're going to wear. Like if you haven't worn a shirt for a year and you're packing it to go there, maybe don't. I don't know. It's just you don't want to overpack and dorms are usually small anyways. So you want to have the clothes that you're going to wear. In terms of school supplies, don't buy like binders for every class. Don't do all that. Wait until like the first week to kind of see what you need. Some some teachers, it's everything is online. You know, some professors, they will post like even lectures online and they'll post all the notes you need online it'll be online articles anyways so you won't really need a binder because you won't really be doing any binder activities but if you're someone who handwrites all their notes then i mean of course to each their own i was just not that person i was that person for accounting which is maybe why i did so bad because i was just focusing more on making my notes look decent than actually grasping the information i tried but anyways and i would highly highly recommend if you can getting an ipad or bringing your ipad if you have one my ipad was a lifesaver loved it because i would take notes on my ipad i would be able to draw all my economics graphs on my ipad do to-do lists doodle anything my ipad loved it you can even download the slides on your ipad and draw on them as the professors going through the slides so i mean if you can save up for an ipad if you can um, enter raffles to win an ipad if you can ask for one for christmas your birthday or something definitely recommend it because it is really helpful it is not the end all be all don't get me wrong i didn't get my ipad until third year university second or third year university so first year university i didn't even have it and i was still fine i mean i'm still here <laughs> so you don't necessarily need it but it is really helpful if you can access one okay so now this is more just specific to queens but if you're considering taking the via rail bus uh sorry the via rail train or taking a bus back and forth in the gta i personally would recommend the mega bus it's way cheaper than the train and it drops you off at the airport so you can kind of go from there take you know a bus from there um, my parents would pick me up at the airport but i did not like the train some people love taking the via rail train they can do their work on it yada yada i can't it is too wobbly for me i get train sick i couldn't do it and it was like double the price so i mean i always recommend the mega bus it is cheaper and it goes by fast. I usually I would just nap on the bus or just, you know, stare out the window as one does. But I would recommend that, although you can do both. I tried taking the train and I tried taking the bus and I hands down, hands down, loved the bus. I never took the train after taking the bus. So definitely look into that. Okay, so now this is just some basic tips that I just want to end off the video with, especially if anyone's going to university you know you're nervous you're it's a big time in your life first off congratulations for getting this far and you know taking this life journey everyone's on their own path and if you're not going into university that is okay too everyone's doing their own thing that's best for them um so if you are in university and some tips that i have would be to time manage okay um, this is probably the first time that you're going to be on your own in your dorm. And I didn't have really as much trouble navigating this because I've always been a very independent person. I was always like a very, I, I, I th um, thrived off af academic validation in high school. So I was definitely someone who was always on top of all my stuff. But that's a double-edged sword, okay? Because some people, they struggle with the transition, being on their own and wanting to party and do all that stuff. And then they kind of let their studies fall back a little bit. And I was usually the opposite. I would put my studies almost too much first and I missed out on time for myself. And like the first thing that my professors always say is, we know it's exam season because the first thing that goes is your guys' hygiene, which I mean, it's true we were all we would all be stinky in those exam halls so just make sure to time manage best to you okay like you know yourself if you need to study how 
XYZ amount of time to get it done and make sure you understand the content, then do that. But don't forget about yourself too. Take some time to hang out with friends, join a club, do an activity, any of that type of stuff. I did do intramural soccer at Queens and that did really help me. I did that later on in the school year, first year university. And that, that was really nice because at least it was one day a week where I was getting some physical activity and hanging out with friends because I wouldn't go to the gym. I'm not a gym person. <laughs> I would not go to the gym at Queens. So I would definitely recommend looking into clubs. So yeah. I mean, just remember, don't let your studies fall back too much. Stay focused and time manage, you know, because it is stressful having all these different assignments and whatever, but it, you also have all this freedom. So you don't want to kind of get too caught up in having all this freedom and partying and whatnot. Um, but also don't forget to have time for yourself. It's just a balance and it's a learning experience and you'll find what works best for you. Okay, and now lastly is don't be afraid to ask for help. This is something I have struggled with my entire life. I still struggle with it. But if you have a question or if you're unsure about an assignment and where you're taking your thesis or you know your essay, if you're going in the right direction, it is okay to ask for help. It is okay to set up a meeting with your prof, go to office hours, set up a meeting with your TA. I didn't do this as much okay but there were definitely times where i could have really benefited from it and i was too scared i was too scared to ask for help i was too embarrassed to ask for help and that is just you know that's my own thing that i've struggled with but it's there's nothing wrong with asking for help it's okay to ask for help it's important to ask for help there's like you can't know everything you know especially when you're going into your first year of university like you obviously aren't going to know everything it's a huge transition so look into office hours look into meeting with your prof look into meeting with your ta so many tas are so nice and understanding because they've been there they've been frosh <laughs> they've been stressed out too they've been scared to meet with people and they're there to help you like that's literally what they're there for they're there to help the prof and they're there to help you and be that bridge just a couple specific queen's things that you could take advantage of is the queen's walk home service that's if you're out i think if you're anywhere and like the the is it queen's campus i think if you're even a little bit outside the queen's campus they'll come get you so you'll call walk home if you're too scared to walk home alone and like it's just like a couple people will come and they'll walk home with you and it's not like they're wearing like bright orange vests or anything it's just like it literally just looks like you're walking with a group of friends and i have had people use this service and they're like it's great they made friends through it um and it was obviously safer to be able to walk with someone at night but yeah i feel like that was a lot of information so i'm sorry if i just threw that at you guys and you were like whoa where is the structure there is no point proof analysis for this video i'm sorry <laughs> i just had so much to share with you guys and these are definitely some things that i wish i had known i think are helpful tips things that i've learned along the way so i hope that they helped you and if you're going into your first year again good luck this is such a huge deal you should be so so proud of yourself and so excited i'm proud of you and i think this is going to be an amazing journey for you but yeah, I love you all so much. Be sure to check out Wisent in the description box and get $25 off your first lesson. And good luck at university. You're going to do great and ace your classes, but also C's get degrees. I mean, that's what I told myself for finance and accounting. I actually got a D in finance, but I'm still here. So grades don't define you and don't let them. But I'll see you in my next video and have fun prepping for uni. <laughs> okay, bye.